production on the ground game. Free runner came and a beautiful jumping grab. Mario Williams lost his helmet and he's going to score anyway. Now with the helmet coming off, they're going to send him. It's going to be a long discussion here. And that's where you just, I know it's the rule, but. He's coming back yeah. with the helmet coming off. This will not be a touchdown. We're going to check in with Matt Austin, our rules expert. Matt, what do you have here? Yeah, Jason, it's, as soon as the helmet comes off the runner's head, he's, he's the ball's dead. So as soon as it came off, it, it, the play's over right there and then. It's unfortunate. They threw a flag for the face mask, but he can't get the advance. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 28. By rule, when the runner's helmet comes on, he cannot advance the ball. The penalty will be enforced from the end of the run. The first and goal. Matt, I want to ask you, would you change that rule if the runner is not near anybody else? Well, now you get into in whose opinion is anybody close to him. In this case, it's easy. But if there's any doubt anybody could hit him, uh, it's a foul to hit a runner four, without a ball, helmet or any player without a helmet. So it, it brings in too much, too much other stuff that could happen. So, no, I don't see any change. What I would say, though, is if you know there's a free runner, why wouldn't you try and yank somebody's helmet off? Take the, the, the penalty over the touchdown any day. 